make sure this bike is nice and warm up when I go. I want to make sure this front brake works. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Actually, I do have another variation for that too. Take a little turn here at the same time. And we got the front brakes work out there and warm up. Let me do the same for the rear tire. Put as much weight as possible here. With a couple of small wheelies here. There you go. Woo! I kind of forgot where I was supposed to go already. If it looks like the bike is warm up, then in trials it's not all about the speed, but it's more about the life control and balance. So let me slow it down here just for a second. Because when we ride competitions, the main goal is to ride over crazy obstacles while trying to keep our feet on the peg. Because every time my foot goes on the ground, we get penalized for that. But they don't make it too easy for us. That's why these bikes have to have a really good balance and also good turning radius because sometimes we only get very few feet where we can turn this bike around before heading up next obstacle. It could be rocks, hill climbs, waterfalls, or some man-made stuff like we have here today. <laughs> and sometimes even normal turning radius isn't quite enough and that's when I have to utilize my bicycle skills if I need it, I can pull my front wheel from side to side like that. Pull my back there from side to side. And kind of place this bike as good as possible for the next obstacle. And you know, of course, we have to make sure that brakes are working here too, right? Well, the bike I'm riding here has a six-speed transmission. A reverse gear. It's completely optional for my bike. And I may be using second and third gear here to show. Let me show you the gearing on this bike. This is my first gear here. Obviously, it doesn't go very fast, right? Well, you guys ride bikes, so what about let's put it on second, third, and fourth. I know if you want to start on fourth gear on your bike, how well that will work out. But on these bikes, no problem. It still doesn't go very fast. But actually, fifth and sixth gear are a higher. So it does about 55 miles an hour. Although I don't know why, because I wouldn't go too far with this seat on the interstate. Let me tell you that. And actually, we have to stand up all the time so seat would only get in the way. So we got all the basics covered here. And I know you didn't come to hear me talk. So what do you guys think? Should we start riding for real? Yeah? All right. Let me go on this side and start. Kind of using the same hops or same techniques. The real world condition. Go up here. Turn this bike around. There you go. And I talked about the reverse gear that we don't really have. But if you're creative, it still works. There you go. Now let me go on the back side here. I got this little kicker ramp. Hopefully that's going to be enough to get me all the way to the top of that platform. There you go. <laughs> Barely enough room to stop. And you notice the back turtle is almost flat. Actually, I only have about three pounds of air on it. It helps me get a little bit of traction here for this obstacle. I might show those turns what we can do on a flat ground. Let me try one here as well. It's really slick. Slick and slippery on that platform, so let's go down and see if it works. There you go. Top side here. Step. 
so you can roll over quite that easy. Because I always want to think about your safety. And that's before we go for this. I want to make sure one last time that my brakes are still working if I need to use it. So let me make sure my front brake still works the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> and the good part is, I'm not the only one sweating here anymore, let me tell you. No, actually, you know, you seem to be pretty good, but I can tell you're still a little bit nervous. That's why I have to tell you, I got 